This is the fist viewed from the highway. After getting to the coal on the left, we'll climb up a gully on the backside to reach the summit. An hour's hike down this trail will take us to below the coal. We're still following the trail here, although it doesn't look like it. We're heading to the coal now. That's the fist. To reach the coal, we hiked up a gully. This was a nasty affair since we had to fight through bushes. Worse, however, were the mosquitoes. You could kill five with one slap, only to find more to take their place minutes later. Here we're out of the thick brush. The fist is in Kananaskis Park, only about a 90 minute drive from Calgary. We're on the coal now, ahead of us is the fist, but even here we weren't safe from the mosquitoes. Here's where we start to scramble. First we climb up this steep narrow gully. When we reach this notch, we can scramble up ledges on the back side of the mountain to gain the summit. The fist is a small mountain, but what it lacks in size it makes up for in exciting scrambling. This climb had its share of challenges, but I think that's why Dinah was smiling so much. Before we get to the steep gully, we have to negotiate this drainage, but that's easy compared to climbing up the gully. After making up the gully, Dinah is now climbing out of the notch. Here we have to be careful because of the sheer drop on the other side. Here we are at the top of the fist. After spending several minutes on the summit, we start to head down. Again, we have to be cautious because of the exposure. Down climbing here is actually pretty good. So many people have climbed here that much of the loose rock has been cleared. We're climbing down the gully now. Because of the camera angle, the gully doesn't look steep, but it is. Note the rocks falling down. Climbing down this gully was probably the most difficult part of the trip. This is the worst, I think, of the whole day. And you know what? I did it. I'm here. So let me get in the spot where I can take a picture.